So it's that time of year again, uh, change oil. And uh, this year I'm gonna, since I'm going to do more track days next season, I'm adding a baffled uh, oil pan. And it should also have some extra volume to it here. And we're gonna compare it later. So this is a FVD, Brom Basher uh, pan. And you can see there are some rubber flaps here that are supposed to keep the oil in when you do uh, tight long sweepers with high G. And I'm gonna show you the other original one to compare it with. So I've got some uh, seal here for uh, to put around the edges. Some lock tights for the nuts, a torque wrench, and some other things to just change uh, the oil. New oil filter, of course, new oil. And I got a magnetic oil plug that I have reduced in height. I'm going to show you the original one also. And then also, since the oil pan is a little bit deeper. There's a distance with the kit to lower the oil pickup. So I think it's gonna be good. But uh, first, empty the old oil. So what i done here is put cardboard underneath because always seems to be spillage. And there's just the table and there's the container to pick up the oil and it has two openings so make sure you open up both of them. Let's see if I can get a good shot for you guys here. So that should be decent. And a 17 mil socket. Just crack it open, and then as usual, I'm gonna get some paper. I need to be quick about it because the engine, since I run the engine warm, so it will get the oil out easier. Actually, I might risk it burning your fingers. It all went good this time. Well, fairly good at least. Let's say, like, it was good that I had the cardboard on the floor here. So now I'm going to let that one drain and you can see, almost see, this is the magnetic oil plug here. I'm going to show it to you from a better angle and in a better light. So here is the mag magnetic oil plug that I'm using. And I've been running it for 6,000 K, 600 mil in Swedish. I think that's 600 K in English. And here is a brand new one. It got a little bit, whoops, shoot. Yeah, okay. You see how strong the magnetic force is, but see, there's a little bit of dirt on it. It's like a sludge, fine, fine, fine powder so that comes from inside the engine. It's almost like clay. So it's not, it's not much, but it's there. So when it's all nice and shiny again.
can just reuse it as it is. And if you have a good uh, fitment on the oil pan, you can re you reuse the washer also over and over again. Uh, but if you have an uneven oil pan, you might need to replace this. On my other car, I need to replace this every time, so it differs from car to car. And now I'm going to show you. So since the new oil pan is the new oil pan is a little bit deeper here. I didn't want the oil plug to stick out. So what I did, I got a machine shop to machine it down. And you can see the difference there in how high they are. And what I did also is I took a normal socket and I asked them to machine down the edge here. And that's just so, because no, a regular socket has a edge here, so it doesn't, it fits, it suits for these kind of plugs really good. But if you only have this much grip, this is two mil, you want something that sits really tight flush there. So it's a little bit of a special solution, but uh, I think it's going to be good. What I did now is just close the oil plug back up again. So I can just remove the oil filter and change that. And I bought a special tool here because these oil filters they are a little bit funny located. So here, here is a, not the washer, but a seal. So new comes with the new oil filter. So make sure you change that. And just take the old oil filter, put it in the container. Be able to catch things that you know, otherwise would need your fingers for. Make sure that it's properly seated all the way around. There you go, looking good. Then just new filter, get it seated in there. There you go. This is plastic, make sure that you're really careful so you get the threads right. And I actually got a Work wrench here, and the manual says 26 newton meters.
time. Oh, you have 26. So you might be able to see that I removed the cover pan here. And the first one in front of the oil pan or the shroud or whatever it's called just to get easy access to the rear edge or the front edge of the oil pan and now I'm uh, as you can see here it's uh, the edge here it's quite dirty so I'm gonna go ahead and use a steel brush and just remove all this loose stuff here and uh, so it doesn't get on the edge when I add the new one or get dirty in some way so what I got here is a reverse Torx so it's a Torx socket 10 millimeter 10 mil let's see how this goes So you can see here is a tab, and the oil pan, and here is a small tab on the oil, oil lid or whatever we should call it. I think I'm supposed to break the seal there. Let's see if we can loosen the oil pickup without making too much of a mess. Let's see what we have here. So this is the oil pan removed and you can see that hole there, there's where, where the oil pickup is going and it's a little bit bad lighting here. This is probably better light, yeah. So this looks like a return line and it probably sprays the return oil in there and up there is the crank so nothing out of the ordinary here ordinary here so here is the new oil pan 
and the old one. And the uh, major difference is the area that is closed off here, so it's a larger area to pick up oil from. Uh, going in turns. So let's see, the sideway motion is that way. So if you have turn, oil will flow in here and be stopped by this baffle here on this side. And uh, yeah, so you have a similar function here, but the enclosed area is smaller. And also, if we have a look at them sideways, you can see that this here is a little bit deeper. So this is flush. And here's an additional, I don't know if a half a liter of oil. You can see here is the remains of the previous gasket, so I need to clean up that on the uh, engine. So we got a good seal going, and I gave it, gave it a quick test fit, and it fits fine. Uh, but it's not 10 of 10, I would say 9.5 out of 10. So I just need to be a little bit careful when I thread the bolts in, so I don't damage the threads. And uh, yeah. on the oil pickup here, nothing big in there, so it looks fine. And what you need to do is use the extension here. And just you have a seal there. Oops. So there's a seal on this one also. So. Just place it like that and then bolt it back to the engine. There are some insects bolts added with the, with the delivery here, but I think, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the original ones. I'm just gonna clean them up and put some Loctite on there so they don't vibrate loose. And this is you can see there is a so it's soft a little bit of movement and these edges here even if this is placed directly towards the bottom of the oil pan gives a little bit of a space there where the oil can flow in so that's good thinking from the Porsche engineers and then uh, as I said this pan a little bit deeper and the or original oil plug I used is this Magnet Pro MP13 and you can see it's kind of thick and since I have lower gr ground clearance because of this additional oil volume here I uh, asked the firm to take another uh, oil plug and just machine down here this surface here so you can see it's quite different in how deep it goes so that should be I have actually not test fitted it after I got it machined down so let's give it a quick go As I said, uh, I asked him to machine down the socket also, so I get a better grip. Yeah, okay, it sticks out a little bit, but I don't think it's. I don't know if that's better to see from the light. You can see it points, protrudes a little bit from the oil pan, but it's minimal least compared to if I would have used this one so I think the original height is 7 mil and now it's 2 so that should be fine so just clean up the gasket seat on the engine put sealant on here and then mount it I now prepared the new oil pan here and as you can see I put sealant around the edges and this is some GM sealing compound. Mm, yeah, you got the parts number there if you want to order it. Probably other stuff also, but that 
have used it before. And you can ask the guys from Speed, Speed Academy, Academy. Don't use too much because then it will leak over on the side and get into the oil and then it will get into the oil channels and clog them up and yeah, they broke a motor almost on that. And uh, here you can see I cleaned the edges so they are really uh, no residue of the former seal and it's uh, kind of braided or no not braided but it's a little bit notchy so it's not completely flat and that's good and if you can see there there's the distance from the for the oil pickup so it comes down the same distance that the new oil pan is deep and yeah now just to mount the stuff As you can see here, the sealant has come out on the edge a little bit here. You can see it all the way around. So that means it wasn't too little. I'm gonna remove them again and then I'm gonna um, have some Loctite on them because it's only 10 Newton meters to fasten them with. So you don't wanna want them to vibrate loose. Finally, just torque them down, and I've probably done approximately the correct value already, but... It's only 10 newton meters, so really soft. And the final thing, torque the oil plug, and that's 50 newton meters. Quick look at the end result here. So, as I said, nice bead of the, uh, the sealing material there, and. The oil plug, yeah, doesn't stick out at all in the general aspect of things. And okay, it's uh, maybe two centimeters lower than it was before, but I think that's fine.